Hey guys, and thanks for watching. In this video, we're talking about e-commerce, selling on eBay, Amazon, Amazon FBA, and your own website. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys some products. I'm going to show you the supplier and what you can buy it for. And I'm also going to show you on Amazon and eBay what you can sell it for. Uh, the whole idea of e-commerce is basically arbitrage. That means buying something cheap, hopefully trying to add some value to it, and selling it at a much higher price. So first off, just right off the bat, anytime you buy in bulk, you're gonna get something cheaper. You can then resell it for more money. However, there's certain things you can do to add value to that product, whether it's just crafting a better listing than other people, or whether it's uh, private labeling. And an example of private labeling, if you can see my cursor here, I'm, I'm looking at this bracelet. I could potentially put a name or a brand on this bracelet, and all of a sudden now, just because it's a brand and not some generic paracord bracelet, it has a higher value. So maybe I wanted to put like special ops or survival force or something on here. As soon as I do that, it adds value. Also, the way I put together my listings adds value over my competitors. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be saying to yourselves, well, you know, how many people watch this video? This market's gonna be saturated because everybody's gonna go out and try to sell these items, right? Not the case. Uh, most people don't take action. So let's say 10,000 people watch this video. Probably 10 of you will actually make the next step to actually get into private labeling. Of those 10 of you that actually take some action on this, um, you know, maybe five, maybe, you know, all you guys order the product. I bet you only five of you guys are ever, ever actually gonna put these products online and try to sell them. And out of those five people that put them online, maybe one or two of you are actually going to craft good listings and sell and continue on. So don't think this market is saturated. Uh, anytime you hear somebody say the market is saturated, 99% of the time it really isn't. Um, you know, most people don't have the skills or knowledge or whatever to add value to a product and actually sell it. So when people say that a market is saturated, the more likely scenario is that they just don't know how to craft that, how to crack that market, or they don't know how to compete well in that market. So um, don't think that a market is saturated. If you can do a better idea of adding value to that product or highlighting that product, uh, you can sell it. As far as adding value, it can be done a couple of ways. First off, simply how you operate your business. Do you ship quickly? Uh, do you ship a fast method? Things like that are, are going to make people buy from you over a competitor. I'll tell you guys, on, on eBay and Amazon, whatever, I, we'll, we'll say eBay for an example. On eBay, there's an item that I sell for $129.95. My Most of my competition sells it for anywhere between $85 and $105. Uh, I dominate the market. I do over 90% of the sales in my category. And why is this when people can buy it for $30 cheaper, which is pretty significant? That's like, I don't know. 25% cheaper because I do a better job of putting my listings together and I run my business better. So whereas a lot of eBayers, if you've bought on eBay, you know this, a lot of eBayers will say things like, oh, I only ship out on Wednesdays because that's the only day I go to the post office. With my business, I ship same day. So if you order something from me today uh, before say five in the evening, your product's gonna ship out today. A lot of times I'll give free shipping upgrades. When I put my listings together, I describe my items well. I include the maximum amount of pictures. Um, so simply putting together a nice listing is one way to add value another way to add value is private labeling and that would be if you're looking at this bracelet here an example would be putting a word on here and creating a brand so instead of just having a generic paracord bracelet my paracord bracelet is the special ops bracelet or the uh, tack force or uh, survival prepper man you know whatever stupid name i put on there just having a brand is going to add some value so what we're going to be doing in this video i'm going to show you guys about six products i'm going to show you what the product is I'm going to show you guys how much is sold per week on eBay. Um, and there's even more sales on Amazon as well as uh, your own e-commerce site, if you should choose to go that route. So, uh, you know, this $13,889 is just a small sampling of all the sales going on on the Internet. This is eBay alone. Amazon probably does this much or more. And people with their own websites are doing even more than that. So... Uh, if you follow my cursor here, this is going to be the name of the product. This is going to be how much is sold per week on eBay. This is going to be the sell-through rate, which means what percentage of the items actually end in a successful sale. Uh, this is going to be the su supplier's cost and the link to the supplier's item. And this here is going to be the price it sells for on Amazon and a link to the Amazon product. So you can kind of see how they compare. Now, the supplier info I'm giving you isn't necessarily the cheapest price nor is the Amazon one. Uh, these are just kind of good listings I picked up. You can actually find this product for much cheaper than 92 cents. Uh, you can probably find it for about 60 cents. If you actually go uh, wholesale through China, 
um, and buy off Alibaba, you can probably find it for like 24 cents. Um, and let me give you guys an idea. So uh, all the products I'm giving you are from AliExpress. Uh, AliExpress is kind of a wholesale slash retail site. The reason I'm giving this to you is, is this video is kind of designed for less experienced people. Um, so it can get confusing buying off Alibaba because they don't take credit cards. So you're going to have to do bank wires or Western Union. That gets a little bit more complicated. You're not as protected as a um, buyer. Uh, the thing I like about AliExpress... Oh, and the other thing that gets confusing when you're buying from Alibaba, sometimes they'll ship it to your door. Other times they'll just ship it to a port in either like Long Beach or New York. And you're responsible for getting it from New York uh, to your house. Sometimes you're responsible for customs fees. There company, there's companies called freight forwarders who do uh, who, who handle this for you, but it can get kind of complicated. So I'm giving you guys AliExpress. You can buy directly through the site and pay by a credit card. So you have the you kind of have some protection of being able to do a credit card charge back should you get screwed. Um, they're going to ship this item direct to your door, probably by FedEx or UPS. Uh, so this is basically really dumbs down and makes this really simple. You really can't go wrong here. Once you get some experience under your belt, if you want to venture to Alibaba, I can show you how to get this product for about 24 cents. And just to give you an idea with private labeling, let's say I can get this product on Alibaba for 24 cents. Uh, the supplier I work with charges me uh, four and a half cents uh, to put my private label on it. So if I wanted to put my name or a brand here, uh, the product costs 24 cents. It's going to bring me to 28 and a half cents when I'm done. And I could probably sell this on Amazon for anywhere from $10.99 to $15. So it'll show you how big the markups are. So uh, here, if we look at this, I can pull more data. If you guys have products you want me to look into, reach out to me. I do custom work. I do consulting and coaching. And I can give you guys additional data. I can tell you who your top 20 competitors are, how much they sell. I can show you their listings. I can tell you the best keywords to use in a listing. I can tell you, excuse me, I can tell you that People on eBay, most 90% of people on eBay who buy this product buy it on Tuesdays and Thursdays between the hours of 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. So if I tell you that, what does that mean? That means you're going to want to end your listing either on a Tuesday or Thursday between 4 p.m. or 8 p.m. because that's when the majority of people are, are buying. So I'm not going to go as in detail about every listing because I'm kind of breaking everything down for you on this first one. So these, uh, these are eBay stats here. Like I said, even more is being sold on Amazon and private websites. But this product does just under 14,000 uh, a week on eBay, 2,700 total listings, 1,257 of those are successful. That means it has a sell-through rate of 46.56%. Um, and uh, like I said, I am going to show you guys the actual product. And like I said, there's gonna be different variations and models of these. Um, you know, so I mean, you can find better pricing than I'm giving you, but uh, here we go. So uh, the product can be had for, oh, it looks like this sells a little bit more. Uh, 71 cents to 77 cents. Um, it comes in a variety of colors. You're going to be able to pay by credit card. Similar to eBay, you can find the seller's rating here. Uh, there's different things. These things mean that they've had a factory visit from AliExpress, whatever else. Um, and there's going to be more details about the product um, down here. So just to kind of show you guys the price difference, if I do a search on here for paracord bracelet, there's going to be all different models and colors and things like that. If we go sort by price. Okay, now these are just belt buckles and stuff, but uh, let's see here. Okay, so here we found them for 67 cents a piece. I've actually found them even cheaper in here. Like I said, Alibaba is going to be cheaper than that. If we go over to Amazon, this guy's product is normally $14.99. He's got it marked down on sale to $10.99. But if you're getting this for 60 cents, that's a pretty big markup there. Um, and the pictures aren't showing up here. I wish these pictures would show up. Let's see if we reload this page here. Okay, here we go. So we're seeing pictures here. Now, why is this guy able to sell his products for, uh, you know, so much money on here? Well, it's because he's created a brand, the brand of his bracelets. And he, and he does all types of survival stuff, fire starters and everything else. But he calls his brand the friendly Swede. Um, actually, it doesn't look like he has this one private label. Generally in private labeling, oh, maybe he does. If you guys can see down there. Oh, he's got a moose on there. I guess that moose might be his brand. He does on uh, certain products. This guy will actually have, okay, here's one. This bracelet's going to cost a little bit more because it's a little bit fancier. Um, but if you guys can see there, it says the friendly Swede on that bracelet. So 
basically it probably cost him between four and six cents to put his logo on this thing and that's gonna that's why he's able to sell it for nine dollars and not five dollars like other people are selling on amazon so private labeling is a great way to add value but i, I feel like we've kind of covered the paracord bracelet so next we have fire starters now there's all different styles of fire starters um but this is kind of the most basic one let me show you guys uh fire starters. So here's a fire starter. These are like the ones that we saw. These are selling for 444. However, as soon as you slap your brand on it, this can go for $10 easy. Um, here's one for 449, pretty basic. Again, slap a brand on it, it's 10 bucks. And I think we, oh, here, we, you can even see a perfect example. So the Friendly Swede is basically selling this ex exact same fire starter up here for 449. He's selling his for $12.99 to $13.99, and he sold 835 of them. Actually, probably much more than that, just more people haven't uh, left him feedback, which, you know, you probably sell 10 items for every one feedback you get. So it's probably more like 1,800 of these that he sold, if not more. Uh, but you can see different styles of fire starters, and you're going to be able to find all the same fire starters on Alibaba. But uh, let's see. So this one I found for $0.55. Cents. So we'll hop over to the web browser here. You can probably find these fire starters for 20 cents or less on Alibaba. They're 55 cents here. What I like about AliExpress, there's no order minimum. So whereas somebody on Alibaba may make you order 5,000 pieces, here you can order a single piece. What I normally do is order five or 10 pieces, check the quality. I'll sell them on eBay or Amazon and see how well they sell. If something doesn't sell, it's not, you know, okay, maybe it's not a great category. I won't invest more in it. If it does sell well, my next sourcing will be from Alibaba. So there's the fire starter, um, as you see there. Um, we'll hop back over and we'll look at a similar one on uh, Amazon. It sells for $13.97. And I guess I already showed you guys a couple on here, but okay, here's the one I picked out. It was a friendly Swede. He's selling his for $13.99. So uh, buy it here for 55 cents, maybe pay another nickel to, to slap a label on it. Now it's 60 cents. Now you go over here to Amazon and you sell it for $14. So that's a pretty sweet markup there. Um, I will put a link um, in the description below this video to where you can actually see this document online on my blog. Um, so, you know, you don't have to be trying to write down the sales stats. But Firestarters do 26000 a week on Amazon. Uh, successful listings, 51% sell-through rate. So that's good. Um, so we saw that. Folding card knife. This is kind of nice. Um, Basically, it's a card that fits in your wallet, and it will fold up into a knife. Uh, this does uh, over eleven thousand uh, dollars a week in sales, and has a seventy percent sell-through rating. So this sells really well. So you can pick these up for fifty-nine cents. Um, I'll take you over to the web browser here. Let's see AliExpress. We'll throw that in there. Let me find a similar Amazon product. And I'm probably going to run short on this video. So I'm probably going to breeze through uh, the rest of this, but you guys get the idea here. Uh, this credit card thing sells for $11.99 on Amazon. As you can see here, somebody threw a gorilla on it and private labeled it. Uh, if we go over here, though, we can see this thing costs 59 cents. You buy it for 59 cents, turn around and sell it for uh, $12 on eBay. Again, pretty good margins there, right? Um, and like we said, huge sell-through rating. So 70% uh, of the people that put up listings are actually selling. Uh, hoverboards. This one is not cheap and it's not light. Um, this is a heavy board. It's going to cost you a lot of money to stock the inventory, but these things are going to be huge around the holiday season and Christmas. Uh, you can pick them up for as little as $139 on, Al on AliExpress, turn around and sell it for $509 on uh, Amazon. Um, if you actually, almost everybody on eBay and Amazon is drop shipping these. That means if you go to Amazon and buy this for $509, that guy's going to turn around and place an order with a guy in China who's then going to ship it directly to you. You're not going to have it for 30 to 50 days. I personally would be pretty annoyed if I paid, you know, four times the markup and I still got to wait a month to get it when I could go get it myself. Um, but that's just me. Um, if you actually stock these things, even if you only buy five or 10 of them and just keep a consistent flow of ordering more when you sell, um, if you have these in stock right now, I believe you would be the only person on eBay or Amazon that has this product in stock and you would outsell all the Chinese guys. So uh, this is a really hot product. It's still, a lot of people say you're kind of late to the game on this, although these things are still far from mainstream, and around Christmas time, these things are going to blow up. So uh, 
you know, I, I think this is a great product. There's one caveat with this product. I normally like to stick with simple things. There's not much that can go wrong with a fire starter. These boards are kind of a new technology. It's electronic. Uh, on eBay, people have, what is it, six months now to do a charge or to do a, open a case. On Amazon, it's 90 days. In addition to that, somebody can do a credit card chargeback for up to six months. So I'd be a little bit concerned about whether these things hold up in people opening cases and you wind up having to do refunds and things like that. However, with the markup here, you're making more than four times your money back. So as long as, uh, you know, not more than, you know, for every board you sell, as long as you don't have four people return them, um, you know, you're going to be doing okay. But that's a really hot selling item. But, you know, I understand it's going to cost more money to uh, hold that inventory and not everybody has that kind of money. Uh, here we have bamboo sunglasses. These are a really cool product. They come with a carrying case. Um, wooden bamboo sunglasses, almost 12 grand a week. 51% sell through rate. Uh, this is one of the few products that you can actually find cheaper on AliExpress than you can on Alibaba. On Alibaba, everyone's selling these for like $13, $14 or more. Uh, AliExpress actually has a cheaper price, which is rare. Um, I, I like this product, so I will show you guys. Uh... Oh, crap. Oh, here we go. It's going to pull it up anyway. So $780. Uh, they have a couple different styles. Um, if we go back to this document, this isn't the best listing I grabbed grabbed you guys. I was kind of in a rush trying to finish this up, but we'll go to Amazon. This isn't quite the same style. I've seen these things selling for as much as $50. Here you can see exact same case, a little bit of a different model of glasses, uh, but $39 and you're able to buy these for $7.80. Uh, that's an awesome item right there. Uh, we are out of summer, so you know I may wait until next spring to get into this, but they probably sell all year. And lastly is a silicone watch, something like this. Um, $115,000 sold per week. Now that's not all going to be this style of watch. Um, I think a lot of the, the new fitness bands, whether it's a Fitbit or whatever else, are silicone. So you're also encapsulating all that stuff. But even if we search for this specific product, it would still be tens of thousands of dollars. 56% sell through rating. You can't really go wrong here. I actually found this product on Alibaba the other, or on AliExpress the other day. And then I had a hard time finding it today when I was putting together this list for you guys. So the product I'm pulling up isn't exactly like it, but let's see here. Okay, here's a similar one. These are going to sell for about the same price. You can pick them up for 50 cents, uh, you know, turn around and sell them for, um, let's see, silicone LCD watch. I'll find you the exact model that's being sold on Amazon, actually, here. Let's see, let's sort this. Uh, Yeah, okay, my computer, okay, here we go. Uh, anyhow, I'm not gonna make you guys sit and wait, but anyhow, I saw this exact same watch for like 60 cents on AliExpress earlier, um, on Amazon. Uh, let's see, silicone LCD watch. On Amazon, I've seen people selling these for $18. Uh, let's see if we can find the exact model. There's something similar. Oh, it's only $3.59. You kind of see how important a brand is because if this thing were branded, that price goes from $3 to $15 or $20. Um, oh, here's the exact same watch. Uh, $27.29 and uh, what did I show you guys? And like here, you can buy it for $0.50. Cents. So that's huge, huge, huge markups there. Um, but yeah, here's the six products I was giving, you guys, giving away to you guys for free. Like I said, these are actually products that I sell. These are very good selling products. If you guys want to come compete with me, you're more than welcome to. Um, there's plenty of money to go around. But like I said, overall, I just wanted to give you guys a, an idea how uh, private labeling and adding value to products is done. Um, if you guys need me, I, I know, you know, this is a pretty good guide, but I know a lot of you guys want to understand eBay policies, Amazon policies. How do you do Amazon FBA? How do you actually go about creating a private label? If you do create a private label, um, how do you get the logo designed? Uh, what type of, you can't just send a JPG file over to the Czech guys in China because they won't work with a JPG file. You need what's called a vector file. So all these little, uh, you know, small little details about private labeling and, and e-commerce and things like that. If you guys need any help with that stuff, I do do coaching and I also do consulting. So um, you guys can hire me, I'll work with you, I'll help you with stuff, I can help you get a logo created, I can help you find suppliers. Uh, if you're thinking about selling a product, maybe you're thinking about selling a, 
you know, some knockoff uh, sports watch or something. I can pull data for you. I can tell you, yeah, you know, $100,000 of that is sold in a week and 70% of it sells. It's a good thing. I'd recommend moving forward with it. Maybe you come to me with Turkish towels or something and I pull some research. I say, dude, only $800 worth of that stuff sold on, on eBay last week. You know, it's not a strong category. Um, I can tell you guys that and save you from wasting a lot of money on inventory you're never going to sell. So uh, you guys can get in contact with me on Twitter uh, at symbol rules for rebels. You can email me directly at rulesforrebels at gmail.com. If you guys have questions, uh, simple questions, leave them in the comments section below this video. I respond to all my questions and comments. Um, and you guys can catch me on Fiverr, uh, where I provide some, some you know, various gigs that help with eBay, Amazon private labeling, uh, fiverr.com backslash rulesforrebels. So hope you found this video helpful. Uh, please share this video uh, with your friends or family or anyone you know looking to make money. Uh, share this video on social media. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, uh, click the bottom left below the video to subscribe. You'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like I said, get in touch with me if you have any questions. And uh, we'll check you guys out in the next video. Thanks, guys.